Online courses need visuals, they need downloadables, they need worksheets. Those are some of the things that add value to the course. And I like to make all of those resources using two tools, which I'm gonna talk about in this video. If you're trying to make a Kajabi course or any online course and you want to make it look good and you want to put actionable resources in people's hands that look professional and like you've put a lot of thought into them, this video is for you. I'm gonna walk you through exactly which tools I use, how I use them, and how simple it can be to make your course look awesome. This is the final part of a playlist that I've been doing called Create and Launch a Live Cohort Course on Kajabi, that's seven steps. We started out just laying out the seven steps that it takes to build a course, and then we talked about how to build a live webinar on Kajabi. We talked about how to use content to promote your online course, how to build an effective sales page, the six powerful emails to launch your course, and then of course, how to actually build the course, of course, <laughs> on Kajabi, like how to build out the live course the back end of Kajabi, what it looks like when you're building it, what it looks like to the end user. All of that is right here. And if you are just coming to this and you haven't checked out this playlist yet, I will link it right here. You can check it out and get up to speed. All of this I'm showing you how to do on Kajabi. If you're not on Kajabi yet, it is the best all-in-one online business platform there is. It's your website, it's your sales funnels, it's your email marketing, it's your courses, it's all your membership products, your coaching products, everything all in one place the best there is. If you want to try Kajabi, you can get a 30-day free trial using my link, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. In addition to the 30 days, you get a free one-time 45-minute Zoom call with me where we can talk about your business, talk about Kajabi, talk about how you can get the best possible start on the platform. And you're going to get my course called the Kajabi Accelerator, which is exclusive to the people who use my link that will help you get all of your settings right. It will teach you how to do online business setup, how to make sure that you're using Kajabi at its max capacity. And you're going to get my 25K course launch email template. All of that is yours to say thank you for using my link because it is an affiliate link. So I do get a small commission when you use it. So thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. LaneSebring.com slash Kajabi. All right, let's dive into the two tools that I use. The first thing I want to do is I want to show you what the end result looks like. So this is the course that we've been talking about, the Six Figure Fast Lane. It's a six week live cohort style online course. And there's graphics like this one, Six Figure Online Business Fast Lane. This one, Six Figure Fast Lane Community. Down here, you've got like these that say week one, week two with the course title uh, or the lesson title, resources, resources. And then down here, we've got community and bonus. So all of it kind of has the same look and feel. And I built all of that out using Canva. Canva is one of the tools that I use. The other tool that I'm gonna show you is Google Docs. So both of these are free except I will say I use Canva Pro, which does cost money, and I have Google Workspace, so my Google Docs is actually not free, but it is free if you just have a Gmail account, you can build this stuff, but if you want more space, you gotta go with a Google Workspace. So this is where I built it. Now, it starts out like right here, and the way that I do this, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, uh, this sheet so I can kind of mess with it. So these are all layered, if you know how, you know, Canva works. I mean, this is all just kind of layering, super simple to do. But basically, I start with a graphic. In this case, it's just like a laptop sitting on a desk with a phone. And I gave this a blur. So actually, if you look at this image before I blurred it, it looks like that. Okay. So it's, you can see everything very clearly. And I wanted it to be a little bit blurred. So I kind of moved it over there. I like to put a kind of overlay on it. The way I did this is this is simply just a thing where you put a square and you know I stretched this out and then I messed with the uh, opacity. If I can get that off. Okay. Um, I messed with the opacity on here to take it down to 83% so you can kind of see through it. And it's, you know, blue, which is one of my brand colors, which I can set up right here. My Lane Sebring colors are orange and it's kind of gray and that blue. So it's blue. And then I have the orange, uh, I have the orange, <laughs> I have the orange accents that go on it. This, these are just like a series of text box, text boxes. Like there's one here. I use railway heavy right here. I use railway. This is a, just a line. That's a line. This over here is just like a little graphic that I saw where I, I just put in like arrows. Um, and you know, these things kind of come up and I'm able to grab, I grabbed that one, put it in there, made it the color I wanted, did a second layer of it with that orange down here is just my logo. 
All of that is just simple, okay? So when you piece all that together, and I'm gonna delete that one because it's garbage now that I messed with it, but it looks like this. So from there, I'm able to take it and make a modification. So like on this, I made the logo smaller and I put this big word community. Then I wanted bonuses, then I wanted resources, then I wanted recordings. So everything stays on brand and it's super simple to do. In this case, these are the things that go on the recordings themselves and that's the way I wanted it to look there. And then of course, the week one resources, week two resources, week three resources, these are the actual lessons. Like when they go in there, this is what they get. The welcome page, that, that first thing that people see right at the top, I made that here. It's just a, where is it? It's just a picture of me and it says, welcome, watch this first. So that is a big part of how I use Kajabi in fact, I made my Kajabi Accelerator stuff in here as well. Like this is Kajabi Accelerator, the course that you get when you use my link. So all of the things I do pretty much happen inside Kajabi and I just have a thing called course graphics and that's where this is. Now, when it comes to the actual worksheet, so like if somebody goes down here and they're, you know, they're on week three and they wanna look at the, the resources, the lesson slides, the content strategy, they can get these and these are just PDFs. Now where these originate are right here on Google Docs. So I make the slides and this is actually today's lesson. I'm recording this on a Thursday. I'm gonna go live and teach this here in a couple hours and this is what we'll be teaching, all right? So it is. this is the course material uh, that, are, that I'm gonna walk my students through. So they get access to these slides. Now with each one, what I'll do is I'll make a way to take action on the slide. So we get down to the end of a part and I do I do my lessons in parts. So like it's one big long 90 minute lesson but it has a lot of parts to it. And so at the end of each part, I'll say, hey, if you wanna take action on this part, check out the content strategy one page. So this is a one page document that kind of outlines, it gives just a visual of the content strategy that they need to have, okay? Uh, if they want to take the perfect piece of content, all right, that's this, and this walks them through how to build out the perfect piece of content step by step and they can work it out for themselves. Um, there's the, the download the con content bucket spreadsheet. Again, that's also something I made in Google Docs and I just share it as a template. And then like right here, this is the social media strategy worksheet. So those are the ways that I easily and quickly make resources for my course inside Canva and inside Google Docs. And once I make one of them, I just make a copy of it and I have all the exact branding that I want inside there, I try to make it very easy on myself. Like when I go in here and I replace this picture, like I'll just copy this whole thing, I'll go replace image, and then it already has like the angle and the shadow and the reflection. Make it easy on yourself. Like courses can be a daunting task to do, but you can make it easy on yourself by just don't reinvent the wheel. Like do it once, do it one time the way you really like it, and then just copy it and copy it and copy it and change the details and boom, you've got a course that remains on brand, looks professional, is actionable for your students. It looks like you put a lot of work into it because you did, because I did, and everything works out nicely. So Canva and Google are my best friends. Everything just gets imported into my Kajabi dashboard and presented to my students and everything looks amazing. And as someone who is not a designer, I don't have any graphic design experience or professional training. I can make stuff look halfway decent following some simple kind of graphic design rules that I've learned along the way and with the help of Canva and Google Docs, which is awesome. So again, if you haven't checked out Canva or Google Docs at this point, like you should, it is, they're awesome tools. Go check them out. Start your 30-day free trial on Kajabi using my link, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. If you haven't checked out the whole playlist, you can click right here to check it out and watch through all these videos and learn everything you need to know about how to launch a live course or a course in general on Kajabi.